Randall and I have come to talk to Steve Ross, who is an expert on how buildings fail and what parts of buildings might survive when there is a failure. So I think he's the perfect person to really answer the question of why did people in stairwell B survive? What about stairwell B made it so remarkably sturdy and intact? Part of it was where it was, and part of it was how it was built. Uh, let me show you a little bit about what a typical floor looked like. Uh, if you actually looked at the building itself, the outer wall of the building is here. In the center of this is a core area. And that core area basically has the elevators. There was a big elevator bank on this side, on both towers, very similar. There was a corridor from the tenant spaces that went all the way through. And there was another corridor in this direction. And this area was held up with a number of extra beams. So you had beams relatively close together throughout this entire space. And where are the stairwells? Stairway A was just off of this corridor. Stairway C was off of this corridor. And stairway B, the one that survived, was off of the central corridor. So stairway B was almost in the center of the building. And only stairway B had three big beams fairly close. It was kind of in the corner. Uh, the aircraft hit very high up, about the 94th floor, and it caused damage throughout this area. Remember, this area here was really the, the sanctuary, particularly right about in the middle of it. That's where stairway B was. And so what happened is the plane hit here on the 94th floor. Uh, there were about 10 floors above it. Once the steel gets above 600 degrees or so, uh, it loses most of its structural strength. As the floors collapsed on one another and pancaked on top of one another on the way down, by the time it got down to the lower floors, you had the weight of 75 floors of building pressing on this area. But fortunately, uh, the debris field by then had spread wider, uh, and so it scattered outward. So essentially, was, was stairwell B the only survivable area of Tower 1? Yes. This area was that survival zone, basically from floor 4 or 6 up to floor 22, where a fair amount of void existed. People survived, and those lives were there to be saved. How they got there? Not for me to answer. Speaking to Steve Ross, I think uh, made it quite clear that it was actually the physical characteristics of the building that made the destruction of stairwell be less likely than some other parts of the building. With 110 stories of steel and cement collapsing all around you, the likelihood of survival is almost non-existent. But these people did survive, almost unscathed. 